Hey guys, it's Akana from CNC Labs. May 14th, noon Eastern Standard Time, we're launching our pre-order page for our laser beam system. In light of that, I wanted to go through a quick material guide in terms of what you can cut and what kind of settings you're going to want to look at. So we can start with 3mm wood. So what you're going to notice is that there's going to be a lot of dark spots on the top layer of our material. So if I were to do this over again, I would definitely raise the speed and I would lower the power. You can also increase the amount of passes if that's not enough. So engraving on wood is just super simple. Usually your only issues are it's either too dark and too light and either lowering the power or raising the power can fix that issue. As you can see, easily cuts through 3mm plywood. Next is 6mm plywood. So for this, we increased the passes, but we still had the same issue with the top layer being very dark at the end of our job. So again, what I would do is probably raise the speed, lower the power, and increase the amount of passes on this one. When you start to get into the thicker wood, 6mm, 1 quarter inch, which is the upper band of what you can cut with this laser, you're gonna really wanna play with a higher pass number and definitely lower power. Once again, for engraving, just super simple. If you already are at 100% power and you're looking for a darker engraving, you can look at lowering the speed. But as you can see, we can easily cut and engrave six millimeter plywood. So next is quarter inch plywood. So for this job, I did end up raising the number of passes and increasing the speed. What we got was a lot less darkening of our top layer. So I would recommend for thicker pieces of wood, or even acrylic, more passes, higher speed, and if that doesn't work, you can even look at lowering the power. As you can see, you can easily cut quarter inch plywood. So one thing you need to know about acrylic is that you can only cut opaque acrylic with this laser. Any type of clear or semi-transparent acrylic, the laser beam will shine right through it, bounce off your waste material, and end up engraving the bottom of your acrylic. So opaque acrylic only, and with opaque acrylic, you can get really, really good results. I use similar power settings to the three millimeter plywood. So I would estimate that you can cut up to six millimeters. So trying to cut organic leather is a bit tricky because the more power you put into it, the more it's gonna distress and that can end up leading to a fire. So it does engrave really, really well. I would recommend engraving leather, and for cutting, I would use low power, high speed, lots of passes. So cardboard, super simple. You wanna lower the power, raise the speed, and it doesn't take too much to engrave paper products, but it does look really cool, and it's super easy. So the settings I used are not perfect, but well, hopefully it gives you a better idea of what you can do with the CNC Labs laser beam. So if you're interested, definitely check out the pre-order page and we'll catch you later.